Um, yeah, I mean that's, that's what we set out to do with the um, uh, from day one was to make uh, you know well test cricket in general exciting when um, you know in the plane um, and then obviously you know with the declaration we wanted to, to come into day five where um, both results were possible um, one of those results not being drawn um, and yeah I just think that the way in which we've titled the the whole week, let alone just today, is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the, the way that the batters went out there and played with the, um, the freedom and um, enjoyment it allowed us to, to be where we were on day five um, because of the way in which we played, the, the way that we scored at, and, and the willingness also from the bowlers to, to experiment with different plans, different fields. Um, you know, because that's what it, I felt like was going to take to take 20 weeks in this weekend. Um, was to be quite unconventional. You mentioned the run rate you scored. Uh, going over a run ball is something that we haven't really seen in test cricket before. Was that intentional, or when you went out there, or was that partly held by the edge? Yeah, I think, I mean, first and foremost, obviously, is the, the mindset in which you go out to play with. Um, and then, obviously, the wicket that you, you've got to play on then obviously helps, or sometimes doesn't help. But obviously, this wicket really helps the. Um, you know, the lads be able to go out and express themselves because you know, there wasn't any swing, there wasn't any seam or much spin for the first few days. So, um, you know, we felt as a batting unit that we had to capitalise on that um, and try and score as quickly as we possibly could. Um, you know, because taking time out of, out of a test match um, the first few days, especially in a wicket like this, is, uh, is something that could, you know, sort of detriment yourself into, into winning the game. And could you just talk us through a bit more about your decision to declare when you did with a, what looked at one, some points like a very chaseable total for Pakistan? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we wanted to, to sort of level up carry for Pakistan um, to, to feel like that they were always in the chase um, and we knew that. Um, but, you know, some, some early feedback that we actually getting from our batters on the our second innings was actually really trying to force the ball rather than just play naturally felt like we were going to give some opportunities away um, and you know actually huge amount of credit got to, to go to Rooty actually who came up with that plan of the, the short ball and ploy, ploy with the new ball um, we didn't really feel like we were going to get much out with the new ball um, when we went out to bowl for the uh, for the second time and you know obviously picking up the, the two early wickets yesterday was was massive and you know that, that's obviously got to go down to so dressing room who's willing to, to come up and, and offer you know different things out there. You know, there's a lot of things that went our way today with people paying off because of suggestions that were coming in from guys who were out there. Okay, we'll go Stefan, Ali and then Dean. Ben, given everything, the conditions, some of the players that aren't here, some of the members of your team be quite inexperienced, and everything that was going on 24 hours before the game, how big an achievement is it to pull off that win? Um, yeah, I think before the test match, obviously, that we were, we were sort of didn't actually know we were going to start time because of the illness that we had going through the camp. But um, you know, the, the way in which the lads just dealt with it, you know, and just cracked on, you know, obviously was you know a credit to them as as individuals, but also a credit to this team because at the moment it just feels like everyone's doing what they need to do for the bloke who's still next to them, and. You know, Pinchy actually said to me, you know, he said, thanks for coming to my room before day one start and coming to me to play. Um, you know, it's just it's just an awesome place to be in where the individual takes away the, the individual side of sport and um, understands that the, the picture of being in just themselves. And, you know, we've got a whole squad of players who understand that and really buys into that. Um, and I think the, you know, inexperience at the moment with our team and ethos and the way in which we don't want to go about things isn't that much of an issue to me or or the you know the management because everyone knows that they're backing of um, myself and other management and just go out there and express yourself and then you get to see players like Harry Brook who we did this week. You've obviously had some pretty special moments in English uh, across formats. Where does this one rank? I think it's one of the one of the best 
be able to get a result um, on this type of wicket is just, yeah, it's mind blowing. Um, just the effort that everyone's managed to put in this whole week is just, just incredible. And you know, I feel very honoured and feel in a very privileged position to be able to lead these guys out on the field. Um, you know, hearing Jimmy Anderson said to me there before the, the end of the match presentation, I was feeling quite emotional about this win. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tell the guys played 108 test matches, experience everything, you know, highs and lows of test cricket to hear him say that about this particular test match. Um, I think that really makes you realise how special achievement this week has been. Um, no worries, Cheers, we'll thank you. We'll need from Ali and Dean and then we'll take some from the Pakistan media. Go ahead. Ben, uh, Jimmy Anderson's 40 years old, Ollie Robertson's had fitness issues in the past. How, how do you sum up that effort on the final day? Because um, that's a pitch where many England teams in the past might have been daunted by, might have felt very challenging. Um, how do you sum up the efforts there? Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy at 40 doing what he's done this whole week. Um, uh, he didn't bother that two overs bounce he last night. I said so, wrong about the years there, mate. Um, but it's just. It's incredible the you know the, the willingness that everyone has, especially with the ball, to come in and just keep trying different things. Uh, that was my personal opinion on the start of the wicket was that we're going to have to try some some different out there things in terms of that bowling plan, our field placements, because you know I felt it was going to be a batter error really that was going to open the door for us, um, and we got a few of those, especially last night with the short ball, short ball boy with the new ball, um, and you know, as you said. Great word he said there was Holly Robinson's fitness in the past. Um, didn't show any sign of slowing down today whatsoever on a hot, docile draining day. He kept kept running in, uh, running in and running in. Um, I think that everything that's gone on in the past has been said about him, he's he's completely um, well should be written off now because that performance he's put in this week um, is my opinion was, was his best bowling performance for England. Um, conditions not in his favour, and um, still managed to, to bowl England to victory there again. We've got one from Dean, and we can take up to four. We've got a time to get to leave, so go ahead, Dean. Yeah, but uh, no, it's still early days with your captaincy, but how much fun do you have across the game making those decisions, you know, choosing the declaration first time? I think you have a chance to declare. Um, fielding positions and you know, almost like keeping the players tuned up for that effort. How much fun did you have? Um, yeah, I mean, that's one thing as well as what we're trying to do is just whatever, whatever situation we find ourselves out in the field, especially, is just enjoy it. Um, I think a few times I've said just enjoy the flatness, um, enjoy the challenge of trying to create something out of nowhere. Um, and yes, the, the field placings were obviously. You know, quite out there at times. Maybe we had like an umbrella field at some point. You know, it was, um, it was quite interesting to actually look around and see. But you know, we managed to draw some some big shots. We always felt like the end of the bats, we felt like that was the only way to go. We were going to create opportunities. So um, yeah, it's been a it's been a fun game to come. This gentleman here, and then we'll take one from here and two at the front, and we're done. Go ahead. Can you perhaps to the play this year last year? And you have a great uh, victory as well. Uh, from last tea break, uh, two days tea break, the match was 50 50. What was uh, happened in two days uh, uh, tea break? After tea break, uh, all out. And you won the match. That's what happened. <laughs> You can laugh on me. You can laugh on me. Now I think the hardest team. Uh, <laughs> what was the team? Well, how was the team? <laughs> 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 no, I think um, Go ahead. The team was fantastic. Yeah, the team was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I thought, obviously with the declaration and stuff like that, you know, obviously it was the game. Today got longer, yeah. and they got more into the game. That's where 
that's what we want the game to be. We wanted the game to be in a position where every every over there was just a lot of fun. And I think it's a lot more exciting to to watch, to play in, knowing that like, there's something to play for. Both teams have got the opportunity to win the game rather than it's going to be a draw or it's going to take something to, to get bottled out. Um, I mean, sure, yes, people want to watch that as test cricket. And that's what we're trying to do as a team, to make test cricket as exciting as the short format. Um, so, yeah, I think today was absolutely perfect in terms of that. that the game was just, day five today was just, yeah, it was a roller coaster. I mean, I was kicked last week, I think, with eight minutes left or something like that. You know, you, who doesn't want to watch a test match going to day five and be playing like that? We have two, time for two more, one here, and then one here, and then we're done. Ben, congratulations, and thank you for entertaining the crowd here for five days. We all adore your strategy of bringing the bringing the result out of, out of a dead match, and entertaining the crowd and giving something back to the spectators. Do you think that this test match can change the dynamics of test cricket overall? Well, it's something we've been trying to do in all the test matches since I've been in charge, but I think in particular, I hope you know, it might change the way that it's, you know, cricket's played in the subcontinent. Um, you know, not only is you know, test cricket almost viewed and has been viewed in one type of way of playing, but, you know, it's, um, you know, one thing we, we actually, I actually mentioned to the group of players was that the Australia series, you know, was said that it was a 15 day <coughs> test match. Um, so now we're going to take each test match as it comes, you know, we're going to, we're going to play to win every game out here. And, you know, if it comes again and when we find ourselves in a similar position on, um, in game two, we'll be doing exactly the same kind of thing. Um, it's not always going to work, it's not always going to go your way, but um, if, you're, if you're brave enough and, and willing enough to, to go out and play in that way, if you lose a game, it's going to be entertaining. Um, you know, and that's personally how I think Test cricket should should be played. It's always looking at the entertainment side of the sport because you know Test cricket is something that needs needs to be looked after. It's the it's the pinnacle of cricket. It's, it's the one that everybody wants to play. If we can make a little indentation into other teams' ways of playing the game, I think it's just only going to do Test cricket the world of good um, because we don't want to we don't want to fall off the Planet. It needs to stay around and we'll do everything we possibly can as a team to keep it alive. Last question. Uh, well, uh, what was the moment when you felt like we were going to win? And also, the course on the last year of Pakistan, Sin Shah and Mimi? Obviously, I've never seen 15 minutes go past so quickly from four past four to half past four. It was uh, starting to get to that point where we knew that there was going to have to be a double spin. <laughs> At some point, we knew it was going to be too dark for our seniors to bowl. Um, the sort of tactical decision was actually to keep that hold of the ball um, because we felt it was a real threat with our seniors of the reverse swing. And obviously, soft up was hard to score, and then keeping the, the new ball for when we had to eventually bowl our two spinners. Um, we just felt it might bring it more into the game with the extra skid or you know, the extra spin with the newer hard ball. So um, everything went perfectly today. Um, and not just with obviously you know, what's winning, but you know, if, if Pakistan had won this game as well, I would have been happy that the Test match cricket got result on this wicket. Um, if we drew this match, we would have been walking off smiling that we managed to get this game to where it was. Um, so, yeah, very pleased.